to take the lead in relationships. You must pay attention to everything about others. It is good to be able to perceive the hidden meaning in other people's words and understand their psychology. You need to figure out what the other person is talking about and observe how they talk. Overall, it is most important to understand what the other person is saying and how. Don't judge others too easily, but slowly observe what they have done. And it is important to know what motivations they have for their words and actions. If you understand a person's motivations, you can read their inner self. When someone does me a favor, I need to distinguish whether they are simply doing it for me or if they are trying to show others that they are being nice to me. Don't just listen to what you hear on the outside, but also look at his actions. You can tell what he really is by whether his words and actions match. A small-minded person who talks first and then acts later can walk just by looking at this. Understand intent through body language. It is a method of reading the inner self by examining the psychology of others. Understand the psychology and personality of others through their usual behavior and body language and see through their essence. It is very difficult to grasp the true value of a person without being clouded by preconceived notions or appearance. I too have made mistakes in evaluating my students because I was blinded by their appearance. Among my disciples there were bold and courageous although the appearance of the bold left and right was important. Jayan spoke with a noble spirit and also had a very good appearance. I valued control more than the bold left and right. But as time went by, I realized that the bold left and right had virtues. Jayan made the words fly but it didn't lead to action. He even provoked my wrath by not being able to get up until his lungs were in the middle of the sky. Then I scolded myself for judging people based on their appearance and said to myself, if you choose a person based solely on his or her appearance, you will lose your courage and if you choose a person based solely on what he or she says, you will lose control. It is not easy to not be clouded by appearance when looking at a person. But you can't collect spilled milk. We need to be more careful with people so that this doesn't happen again. Observe when and where the other person feels comfortable. You can read the person's true feelings by seeing who he is. Happy and joyful when he meets them and when he is happy. You can act out prepared words and actions. But it is difficult to hide what you like. When it comes to good and bad things, your body and emotions will tell you honestly. Make the other person confess their true intentions. You can see into the other person's mind in more detail and more precisely. It is about creating a situation where you can immerse yourself in the story and naturally express your inner feelings through facial expressions. The key is to strategically throw, bait and pretend not to notice anything and try to double cross the opponent. Only when winter comes and the weather gets cold, 
Can you see how green the pine and fir trees are? A person's true worth is revealed when he or she is faced with a big problem. It's the same for you and the people around you. When a crisis comes, the true feelings of the person are revealed. Without a crisis, it is difficult to discern who around me truly cares about me. Don't be discouraged if there are no people around you. Because I too can demonstrate my true worth in difficult times and create new relationships. A gentleman seeks all things for himself and takes responsibility for them. But a mean man passes all responsibility to others. Instead of blaming the person who left like this, we should be thankful that through difficult times, we can filter out people who will become angry later. When a relationship becomes old, it becomes difficult to be polite because you get used to each other. As it gets older, you have to respect and respect each other. But those things disappear and instead, only advice increases. A relationship that is full of advice won't last long. On the other hand, if you are too friendly, the other person will feel burdened and distance themselves. In this way, we must keep faith with each other without going too far. I check if I am a trustworthy person to my friend, and then I check if I can trust my friend. Then there will be no difficulties between friends. Never get close to someone who only talks big. Such people are greedy, so their words come before their actions. People who often make nonsense in public are the same. You have to be careful with such people, because they can cause a lot of confusion. If such people cause problems, it doesn't end with one person's problem. But the problem grows bigger and bigger until the person himself can't handle it. You should avoid getting close to them. Words create words, and words continue to come out without you knowing. So in the end, you don't even know what you are saying. People who talk too much are prone to doing ridiculous things. Just as you can only hope for strength after you have adjusted well. You should hope for a horse to run well after you have trained it. A good person must have sincerity in order to display other talents. If a person is not sincere but has many talents, they are like a perula or a wolf. So you should never get close to them. Don't make friends with people who are worse than you. It's better to keep people close to you who can point out your shortcomings. If you give advice without trust, the relationship will go away. So give advice to each other carefully after building enough trust first. If that happens, a friend becomes a teacher. But that doesn't mean you should ignore your current friends. Have you ever felt like you were inferior to the people you have now after spending a long time with them? That's proof that you are arrogant. Everyone is better than you in some way. There are advantages, but my pride blinded me and I couldn't see them. No matter how bad a person is, he or she can be a negative example to show me what I shouldn't do. A gentleman praises others so that their strengths become even greater. 
we strongly advise you to reduce your flaws. The so-called opposite is true. Because of jealousy, they ignore the other person's strengths. Also, because they want to gain advantage by only doing things that please the other person. They only protect the other person and do not give necessary advice. That's why, even when you have a great talent by your side, you lose him. A gentleman spares no effort in helping. Someone who is truly in a state of confusion. But to a person who desires something because of greed, even though he is sufficiently rich and wealthy, nothing is given to him no matter how much he bows his head and begs. A gentleman listens to the opinions of those around him and moves forward together. One thing we must always practice throughout our lives is not to do to others what we do not want done to ourselves. If we hold ourselves strictly accountable and hold others lightly accountable, we can avoid resentment. If I am someone who constantly worries about what to do and doesn't make any effort, I have no other choice. A gentleman does not worry about his own incompetence, nor does he worry about others not recognizing him. A gentleman seeks the cause of a problem in himself, while a commoner seeks the cause in others. A gentleman speaks with his actions, a mean man speaks with his tongue. A gentleman has pride, but does not fight, he mingles with others, but does not take sides. Subtle words confuse virtue, and impatience in small matters causes great misfortune. If you make a mistake and don't correct it, that's a mistake. Everyone makes mistakes, whether they are gentlemen or fools. However, there is a big difference between a gentleman and a fool in how they respond after making a mistake. A fool is quick to make excuses and hide his mistakes. But a wise man honestly admits his mistakes, reflects on them, and puts in several times more effort to make up for them. A gentleman treats everything fairly and does not discriminate against anyone under any circumstances. Even if there are good and bad things, we do not discriminate against people based on that. The so-called good and discriminating people through wrestling, beware of talking too much and putting off doing anything. The words regret that I should have thought more carefully and not moved are just excuses for those who do not want to act. A person who acts resolutely and faithfully, even if he is somewhat awkward in his words, is a great person. Don't be ashamed of your mistakes. If you are ashamed of your mistakes, they become sins. A gentleman impresses even through his mistakes. A gentleman does not try to hide his mistakes. That is why the faults of a gentleman are easily noticeable. It is the same principle that when a solar or lunar eclipse occurs, everyone notices it and is surprised by the appearance of the sky. Also, a gentleman makes up for his mistakes with dignity. Forget what you hear, remember what you see, understand what you do. Wherever you go, do it with all your heart. Keep loyalty and loyalty is your first principles. 
if you only learn and do not think for yourself, you will gain nothing. If you only think and do not learn, you will be in danger. Everyone experiences failure. Even a gentleman sometimes fails. But not all failures are the same. Failure takes different forms depending on the person's mind. A gentleman makes the kind of mistakes that a gentleman makes. And a wicked man makes the kind of mistakes that only a wicked man can make. Therefore, it is not fair to criticize all those who fail equally. Pain is this time, never forget grace. A virtuous person is not lonely, for he will surely have a neighbor. There is beauty in everything, but not everyone sees it. Only the wisest and the most foolish never change. Human nature is similar, but habits make a big difference. The greatest glory is not in not failing once, but in rising again every time you fail. Don't forget that even he who moves a mountain started by moving a single stone.